you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Lightning Bug Vintage and my name is Tamara. I do DIY home decor makeovers, room refreshes, and furniture flips on this channel. We have a lot of fun, so if you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it would really help my channel out. So today we're doing a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time and that's paint this wall behind me. My husband and I were both going back and forth the past two years, whether to paint it or not to paint it. I wanted it painted, he wants it left alone, but I came up with an idea that is so epic, it's gonna be so cool that he said yes. So we're going to paint the wall behind me in this video and I'm not gonna tell you what the epic part is you're gonna have to wait until the end of the video for the reveal to find that out. And I think you're really gonna love it. So, I mixed up some paints. I have a ton of sample paints. And paint's expensive these days, so I just made my own color, basically. It turned out to be a lovely blue color with maybe a hint of green. But I'm going to use that to paint this wall. I ended up having enough paint to make a quart of it. So I think it's going to definitely cover the wall for me. And maybe, maybe if we have enough left, we can do the wall over here. This color has really been clashing with the color of the built-ins since I painted the built-ins this summer and it's been bothering me. So this wall does need to be painted. And like I said, if we have enough paint, we'll do it too. But the priority is this guy back behind me. So my color, I would say, I'm guessing it's about a 30 LRB, which is, you know, mid-tone, but on the darker side. I am not going to prime this wall first since my color is a little bit darker. Normally, if I were doing like a white or a light color, or if I were worried about adhesion, I would prime it first. I like Bins Shellac Base Primer, I'll try to pop up a picture of it here for you guys. But this wall has furniture pushed up against it pretty much all the time. It doesn't see a lot of action. And with the darker paint color, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the paint, not worry about priming this one. And I think it'll be just fine. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Probably not, but I hope you're close. If you are excited, then think about giving me a thumbs up right now. Giving me a thumbs up right now really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into it. it is day two. Yesterday I may have freaked out a little bit because there was a spider inside the trunk. So moving on today we're going to take down curtains. I did get the curtains hemmed if you've been here for a while. Maybe you saw my short talking about my curtain rod and I also did like a living room refresh a while ago where I put up the rod and the curtains. So I have them hemmed and perfect length for me. Um, the top is perfect, no ruffle anymore, no pooling on the floor. I hate those two things with curtains for myself personally. I know a lot of people like that, but I don't. So anyway, I just washed the curtains because I hemmed them like three weeks ago maybe, but I'm gonna take them down and wash them again. Things get so dusty in here. Um, especially along the beams. Spiders love beams. I don't know if anybody's ever mentioned that, but man, they like to 
build their webs in the beans. Um, it's constant upkeep and you can only see them in certain lights to catch, like I see a web right now that I need to take care of. Anyway, take down the curtains, get those washed, do prep, and then I need to take down the cuckoo clock. I wanted my husband to help me with that because it's his, but he's at work, you know, and I hate to bother him when he gets home. Dogs will be in and out during this entire process, but hopefully we can get this done today. And I, gosh, I'm super excited for it. So, all right, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into it. Madness is going on around this guy, and yet he sleeps. All 
you guys, this turned out so beautifully. We have a um, we have a nature theme in our house, so we have a lot of leaves and trees stenciled around. And then my husband's cuckoo clock, I think, fits into the theme really well. It's kind of a mountain theme. Oops. We have another clock that I would like to put up in this space. We just don't have it in our possession yet. And then maybe a third clock I think would look kind of nice in this central part. So to me, this just screams mountain. And I haven't seen anything quite like it on Pinterest. Um, I think it's completely unique to us. And since we have kind of an outdoorsy mountain theme in the house, I thought it would be perfect. And I just left the wood in the central part alone and didn't do anything to it and just paint it around it. I was super lucky to already have this plank wall done for me, so I really didn't have to do anything but paint. And I'm not having any bleed through or anything with the paint. It was dark enough that it's completely fine. I did run out and not have enough for this wall, but I'm going to talk to my husband about an idea I have for this wall and if he agrees, then that might be a possible future video. And I think it'll be really sweet. So if you're interested in finding out kind of what we do next in our home, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, it's completely free. But um, the windows in the corners, of course, are old windows that we got from a relative. And the pictures are my husband's. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the curtains. I got them hemmed. They're the perfect length. I, they're so perfect. I was able to use my grandma's old sewing machine. She has passed, but my um, aunt came into town and taught me how to sew with her sewing machine. So that was really special. I got to hem the curtains before they were either to get the right length for me, which is this, I either had to have the ruffle on the top or the pooling at the bottom and I just didn't like it, but this is how I like my curtains. This is a sneak peek. Next week I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys of things I've been collecting for a while and haven't shown you, so a little sneak peek of a treasure that I found recently. And then of course this is the other window. Sorry about the light guys. It's kind of cloudy today, but this is also my husband's picture. I think the orange goes really nicely with the blue and I have one picture that I want to switch out in these frames when I do this wall. I just need to find another one of my husband's, but yeah. Turned out really, really nice. Ruger loves it too. Don't you bud? And this is a good angle to kind of show you how well all the colors go together. It's kind of hard to see right now with the cloudiness we're having, but you can see all these colors. They just, they do go really well together. So I'm really happy. All right, you guys, time for me to say goodbye and the puppies would like to say goodbye too. So I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to share and like my video and thanks for hanging out with us.